Friends gather here. Isn't that the truth? You know, I love going into a Joanne store and picking up all the seasonal items that they have because I love being outdoors. They've just got so many neat things. Hi, I'm Matt Fox for Joanne. Today we're building a garden hanger display. Now this is an item that you can either put outside or inside depending on your style and taste. It's really a very simple project. It may look big and daunting, but it really isn't. In fact, if you want the project sheet, just go to joanne.com and you can follow this step by step. But let's go through a few of the details. Now the lumber we use is 1x4 and 1x3 pine. You have two side rails, three middle rails, a top piece, and these two small little finials that hold this top piece in place. Now the toughest part about the whole project are these small little finials, but I'll show you how I built them. I basically have my 1x4 piece of pine. I drew out a little template on a piece of paper. I placed it on the board. I traced around it using a Sharpie. Then I pull it back and I cut out this design using a jigsaw. And you're gonna end up with a finial that looks just like that. Now what this finial does, after you construct it, it actually is gonna go in place here and it does help hold this top board together. Now as far as putting the boards together, I have a display here I'm gonna pull forward so I can show you how I did it. These small little pocket screws here, these two holes here, are actually gonna allow two screws to go through this wood, through this board here, and attach this board and it's gonna be a very strong joint. Now to do that, you use this pocket screw jig. You place this on the board, you drill two holes, then you can go back with your screws and attach this lumber. But I always add a little bit of wood glue in this joint so that when the two boards are pulled together, it's gonna to be nice and strong and nice and secure. So once you have that done, <clears throat> you wanna go through your entire piece, construct it using those jigs, put all the boards together, and once you have that, you're going to add this top piece. I'm going to go back again to my display. If you notice here along the back, this is the back of the piece. I've attached, I drilled some pilot holes along here. I take another piece of 1x4 pine, and I'm going to place it in position, run a bead of glue along this edge, and then I'm going to screw it together using stainless steel screws. That way it will hold together through the, we the weather. So if you look at it from the front, this is what you have now. You have your top, you have it attached to this piece, you have all your pieces together, and then you're going to take your finial, if I can find it here, you're going to take your finial and you're going to complete the piece by adding these by drilling holes in the back and attaching your finials. Then the final step is to prime it and to paint it. Now I like to use spray paint from Joanne. It's a lot easier, you don't have to worry about it. You just spray the piece, give it about two coats, then you can go back and you can add your hooks randomly throughout the piece so that you can hang all your seasonal items like these artificial herbs. Now I didn't put any hooks up top, but once you place this on the wall, you may decide that you want to add some other detail. There's wonderful signs you can purchase at Joanne. There are all sorts of great items. So put it on the wall, get it constructed, put it on your home, on the wall of your home, look at it a little bit, and then you'll decide where you want to put all your placements. I tell you what, not a bad project at all. In fact, don't forget, go to joanne.com, get the project sheet, and make this yourself. You know, this is a great seasonal project that'll last all year long, and it's brought to you by the fine folks at Joanne.